welcome back to this channel in this video we'll continue the solution of the wasi 2022 mathematics paper elective mathematics paper but before that i want to say a big thank you to all of you my 10,000 subscribers for supporting this channel out to this far thank you all so much we expect that more interesting videos will be coming soon okay so to begin this is question 8 of the elective mathematics paper on vectors the position vectors of the point p and q are p equal negative 2i plus 5j and q is equal to 3i plus 6j respectively find the scalars m and n such that mp plus nq is equal to 8i plus 7j so we can set up an equation that is two equations involving m and n and we solve simultaneously so let's see we're given the vectors and we are we want to substitute them into this equation that was given in the question so just substitute these vectors here so p goes here then q also goes here that will give us m into 2 minus 2 negative 2i plus 5j plus n into 3i plus 6j where m and n are scalars so we expand you do the scalar multiplication here m times this then times this n times this n times this so that will give us this result now what we need to do is to group the i components and the j component on the left hand side so the i component of the vector when we group them will give us this result and the j component of the vector also give this result so this means that negative 2m plus 3ni plus 5m plus 6nj is equal to vector 8i plus vector 7j so we can compare the components so when you compare the components you can see that negative 2m plus 3n is equal to 8 so that will give us one equation then comparing the j component we have 5m plus 6n equals 7 so that will give us another equation so we need to solve this equation simultaneously to find the value of the scalars so from here forward it will depend on how you want to go about it but i'm going to multiply through by two so that i can get six here so that i can eliminate the n so that will give me this result which is negative 4m plus 6n equals 16 and i'm calling it equation 3. so when i subtract these two equations n will be eliminated so equation 3 from equation 2 gives us 9m equal negative 9 so 5m minus negative 4m will give us positive 9m then 7 minus 16 will give us negative 9 so this suggests that m equal negative 1 and when we put m equal negative 1 into equation 1 then we will obtain our n to be 2 
therefore the scalars are m equal negative 1 and n equal 2 Good. so let's look at the next question this is question 15a the height of a building is 840 meters a particle is thrown vertically upward from the top of the building with a velocity of 50 meters per second how long will it take the particle to strike the ground so let's see how let's picture the, the whole thing so this is the ground level or this is the top of the mountain this is the top of the building this is the top of the building so we throw something vertically upward it will go and reach maximum with an initial velocity with an initial velocity of 50 meters per second it will reach maximum then to return so it will return to hit the ground so when it returns to hit the ground then you know when it is here the displacement is zero when it hits the ground the displacement is negative 840 meters because the height of the building is 840 going up with positive therefore coming down is negative for the displacement going up we take positive upward movement as positive for the displacement and downward movement as negative for the displacement so this will give us negative 840 because initially it was here and now it moves downwards be negative 840 so with these parameters s equal negative 840 meters u equal 50 meters per second then we can use the silvert equation this equation s equal vt plus half at squared then giving our g to be 10 meters per second squared that is gravity due to acceleration is 10 meters per second squared we substitute into this equation to find the time so the a will be negative 10 because when we throw upward it will be moving against acceleration it will be moving against gravity so that will be negative 10 negative chain which is negative 10 meters per second negative 10 meters per second square so we substitute all this and that will give us this this quadratic equation and when you simplify this we get this half of negative 10 is negative 5 50 t and this one is here so we can rearrange this equation nicely and divide through by 5 to get this equation here so using the um the equation the, the formula for solving quadratic equation which is negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac substitute into that formula and we get this result so our a is 1 then that is the a here then b is negative 10 so we substitute here then c is negative 1 c is 8 so when we simplify we get t to be this T to be either negative 8.89244 or 18.89244. So it means it took approximately 18.90 seconds for the particle to strike the ground. Is the ground. Now let's look at the B part of this question. If R equal K I plus 0.5 G is a unit vector and k is a constant find correct to trace significant figures a value of k so unit vector a unit vector has a magnitude of one so this is the vector so the magnitude is given by x squared plus y squared square root so that should be equal to one and 1 minus 0 0.25 will be 
0 0.75 so we take the square root of that so it's approximately 0 0.866025 then to three there's two three significant figures we have 0 0.866 so all these are constant either negative or positive is a constant so this is question number 14 an object of mass 15 kg is suspended from points x and y in the same horizontal plane by means of two inextensible strings px and py if angle x p y equal 90 degrees and p x equal 1.2 meters and p y equal 2.1 meters find the tension in the strange so uh, we can quickly sketch a diagram so this is x this is y x or x y the same horizontal plane then we have the tensions here then we have the weights of the object so the object is here so it will exert some kind of weight here then we're told that the between the forces we have 90 degrees angle that is x b y angle x b y is 90 degrees and we're giving this length of the p y of the strings p x and p y so p x is 1.2 and p y is 2.1 so we can quickly calculate the angle that is here and here which will give us the angles we need to find the tensions that is the angles that the forces make with the angle between the forces the angle between the forces so that we can use the Lamy's theorem to find the tensions. So, to know this angle between the forces, we know from year to year is 90 degrees. So, we need to calculate this more angle. This angle here is alternate to this. And the same thing applies to this one too. This is alternate to this. We'll add it to the 90 degree to get the angle between the forces. So let's go. We know for this one it's already 90, but we need to find this and this. So let's go. Um, so we use the Tsuka tour to first of all find these angles. And we know tan of y is opposite over adjacent. So this is y opposite is 1.2 by adjacent 2.1. And that will give us tan inverse of 4 over 7. When we simplify this, we get 4 over 7. And that will be 29.74 degrees. So the angle here is 29.74 degrees. So it means this angle is also 29.74 degrees. Good. Then x, we can subtract from 90 degrees to get the value of x, which is... 60.26 degrees so I have this angle here angle y which is 29.74 degrees plus 90 so that will give us 119 0.74 then with this one we will get um, 60 plus 90 which is 150.6 150.6 So, okay, 
now that we know the angles between these forces these three forces we can use Lamy's theorem which says that this force over sine of the angle here is equal to this force over the sine of the angle here so we need to know the weight we need to calculate the weight which we have the necessary information from the question we know the weight is mg which is mass times gravity due to acceleration the gravity is 10 meters per second squared and the mass is 15 so the weight is 115 newtons it's 115 newtons so using this, uh, the Lamis theorem uh, t2 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 over sine of 119.74 degrees will be equal to the weight which is 115 newton over sine 90 degrees and this we know sine 90 is 1 so when we solve this when we solve this it means this sine 119.74 multiply 150 and that will give us 130.24 newtons and then similarly the Lamis theorem again will give us this equation that is t1 over sine of 150.26 degrees will be equal to the weight which is 150 newtons over sine 90 and that will give us 74.41 newtons so we are done finding the tensions in the strange another alternative is to resolve the forces since the forces are in equilibrium when we sum all of them we must get zero so when we resolve this force we will get this result here that is force d2 give us the result and then also when we resolve this force here we get this result now when we resolve the weight we also get this result here so when we sum all of this we should get zero and that will give us these two equations that we need to solve simultaneously to get the forces to be 130 130.24 newtons and 74.41 newtons once again thank you for watching up to this point see you in another video so in the coming video we will solve the remaining questions in just one video so all the remaining questions will come in one single video so see you in the next video thanks for watching